Hi everyone, it's Heather and I am here in Paso Robles, California. I've been wanting to visit here for a very long time. This is in California's central coast and they have a really popular wine growing region. So I'm here to take you along. We're obviously gonna taste some wine, do a little bit of sightseeing, um, stay at a really gorgeous resort. So let's go check it out. So I'm here in the Paso Robles Town Square, which is a really cute little park. Um, it's surrounded on all sides by different restaurants and wine tasting rooms. So it's a great place to kind of make it your home base, spend the afternoon, wander, do a little shopping, do a little wine tasting. Um, I really like it. It's really peaceful and I can see myself when it's actually warm out being out here with a picnic. But let's be honest, we're not here for the town square. We're here for the wine. So let's go drink some wine. I am staying at the Allegretto Winery Resort and I can't think of a better home base for this trip. It is so beautiful. It feels like a Tuscan villa. I feel like I am transported back to Italy. Like the name suggests, it's in the middle of a vineyard. So there's beautiful grapevines everywhere. Um, it, there's tons of courtyards for relaxing. They of course have their own wine tasting room. Um, and I also love that there's a lot of activities here. So especially if you're here in the summer, you can do things like an art tour, um, winery hikes, winery tours, yoga. There's so much to do um, and lots of places to relax with a glass of wine and just kind of take in the beautiful California weather. It's also pet friendly so everybody's here with their little dogs running around and I just it's such a fun chill atmosphere. Um, I was staying in a king room with a little patio right off the main courtyard so it was so easy to walk out of the room, come sit by the fire pits and just enjoy life in wine country. Diablo Paso tasting room which I like because it's about a half a block off the main square um, and they pour Spanish wines and they have a really great white Tempranillo that I am in love with but I love that there are just so many tasting rooms you know within a block of each other so you can do two or three tastings and not have to get in the car and drive but there are also tons of vineyards up on the mountains with beautiful views that are worth taking a, a ride up there as well. So here is a pro tip. Uh, Paso is a really sleepy little town. It is definitely not a morning town. So a lot of the restaurants and stores are not gonna open up before 10 or 11 a.m. even on the weekends. Even if they tell you they do breakfast, it's most likely at 11 o'clock. Um, there's a handful that'll open up around nine or so, but if you are a morning person like me, just be prepared to wait. Just go swimming, relax, you know maybe try to sleep in. So I'm here at the River Oak Spa. Something that I just found out this morning that I honestly didn't know is that the town sits on a hot spring. So they built this fun spa and you can come, you can do uh, time soaking in the mineral springs or you can get a facial or a massage like I did all three because it was a birthday surprise and it was the most lovely way to spend an afternoon. You get your own private room with the hot springs with this gorgeous view and you just hang out and then you go and have like this lovely massage ask for Gloria she was incredible I could have spent here all day here highly recommend 
<laughs> well, thank you so much for coming along with me as I explored Paso Robles. It was as charming and as fun as I hoped it would be. I hope you really liked it and it inspires you to make a trip here too. Um, as always, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below and don't forget to share this with your friend, like, subscribe, let other people know I'm here and I would really appreciate it. I will see you next time. Bye. It's me.